guys, we are doing a spacey score on Grim Tales. And what a, what a special looking and sounding table this is. So this is Zen Original. And straight away it really uh, brings you into a little fairy tale universe with the music. It's interesting lighting going on in this table guys too. It's come up pretty dark right from the outset. Cool mirror. All right, let's give this one a shot, see how she plays. All righty. Okay guys, and something I'll have to say is I had to adjust the sound. The voice overs were so loud on default. And they're a little lower now, but they might be too low, but there seems to be some call outs which are just so loud. So, I don't know, couldn't quite get it right. The other thing I had to do is I had to punch the gamma up just two points. Um, this is a darker table, which I like, but it's just too dark and flat without some gamma. Otherwise, you don't see all the details here uh, on the table. Now, it does sort of lighten up as different parts of the game, but while it's dark like this, this is about as dark as I want it. Again, I can't say it enough. Zen needs to put controls... For each table, if they're not going to have, not going to be consistent, <laughs> you need controls because going in each time and changing it is, especially for the sound. But this is the first one I've had to rejig with the graphics. But anyway, enough of that, guys. Let's talk now and get absorbed into this table, right? So we've got almost like a medieval madness uh, type castle going on in the middle. Um, Got some good folk music going on. See, it even goes darker, like, and again, good use of light, Zen, but <laughs> a weird starting point for the, for the lighting. Uh, all right, cool, cool. Nice little animations going up right around the top, top there. The whole table looks really nice, guys, and like a very much a, a adventure map. It's a lot of narration, but again, like this is a this is a storytelling table, right, guys? And another unfortunate thing about my setup with this particular table is it's got a beautiful little uh, tales book there down on the bottom left, which is hidden under my apron, but it's beautifully done. Just a few of the little challenges with my physical apron, but I still, I still love it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I don't mind that. Had second shot at it, but I couldn't, couldn't jam it. I like these three little shots in the middle. Let up. Whoops. Good stuff happening on the DMD as well. <laughs> so, so far I've actually worked up a bit of a sweat, guys. Just, uh, this is nice too, this little beacon of stuff. Whatever, oh wow. Okay, thank you. I've got to go up the middle here. Physics are a little a little boppy but pretty good I'm get up that middle there no quite hard to see these um, these slings at the bottom the here with the graphics yeah oh, I'm trying to 
Oh, come on. Okay. Right, come on, Greg. No, that's not it. Yes. Crystal multi ball. Nice. Nice, nice. Hey. Got the witch flying around on the broom. Trying to get over there now. Did I lose my other ones or did they get captured? I thought they got captured. Oh yeah, they get captured in those those two, that's right. On the castle gates there. Or the towers. Which is pretty cool actually. It sort of gives you a chance to uh, play with one ball. And then another one comes out. That's that's nice. Nice bit of game dynamic that. <laughs> Witch flying around is going a bit ballistic. The other one out. Tell you what, with my usual multi ball uh, bad luck, getting a fairly good multi ball with this mode. Okay, oh, I missed that one. It's a tough little shot, that little one right at the top there. N nice though. Get up to the other little flipper up there on the right. <laughs> hey! We're playing through some slime. Shoot left one. This is a challenge. Shoot right Shoot left oh, I get it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so it's, it's the connection with the other one. Wow! It's getting hard to see, guys. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool, gotta admit. Still my, I still have my other ball up there caught. I'm not sure how they get released, but I'm happy if it's staying up there for a bit. We've got another one coming out now. It's all happening. <laughs> it is all happening. Oh, wow. Ah. <laughs> uh. Crazy, guys. Crazy time. We've still got another one still sitting up there. Wow. Haven't had this much fun uh, with a multi ball since playing Lord of the Rings. Ah, I get those top rollovers. Multipliers are max, guys. Oh, wow, <laughs> it's like a. Take a bit of a breather. Now, I can shoot this, but I'll go for this right ramp just in case uh, we can we can save that ball. There we go. Ah, oh, come on, man! Oh, Got to be ready for that. I did get a jackpot, though. There we go. I want to try and... Oh, where did that go? Extra ball. <laughs> Go back up the Shoot left orbit. Okay, make your mind up. Wow. Oh, some sort of satisfying orbit shots, those. This witch is uh, really having a bit of a, a fly around. <clears throat> what happens if I do hit that ball? Shoot right back. Hmm. Doesn't do anything, which is a little odd. Seems it's lit. But I need to go to the right ramp. Shoot right ramp. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Shoot loops on floor. Oh man. Hard. Hard getting that, that top shot. I think just a little bit of lag on the flippers doesn't help me with that because there's, there's not a lot of time to react. 
But that's more my setup than anything else. Probably got about 400 milliseconds of lag on the flippers, which you can detect, but you left orbit. get used to. Okay, that's the right orbit rig. Wow, getting a fairly, I <laughs> got another extra ball guys, getting a fairly decent game here and look you know I wouldn't say this is a children's pinball game like you know um, we're all kids at heart guys so we can play pinball with anything but I wonder if you know the sort of generous play that I'm getting is set up so that you know some of the little ones can have a better a better and a longer game well I don't mind that Come on. well and considering I can't even do those top flippers I think the young ones would probably beat the hell out of me anyway oh okay hey it's now the metal ball oh of course it's come back I'm so used to playing the crystal balls guys wow that was a long multi-ball session. That was a long multi-ball session. Very cool. Oh, wow. Straight down the guts. Don't mind that. Don't mind that. We have to lose a ball, guys. Otherwise, we would be going for a long time. Now, I've got... What did I get? Two extra balls, or is this just the other extra ball? This is ball three, so... Shoot again. Yeah, so shoot again, so that should be my... Should be my extra ball. Only six more, but yeah, quite like what's going on on the DMD, guys, too. Some nice little graphics and stuff up there. Jet multi -ball. Now we're on jet multi-ball. <laughs> it really is like multi ball madness. <laughs> uh, I saw one of the balls sort of lost the timing thing and it just exploded on my flipper. Nice little stop there, guys. Oh. <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. No! Uh, wolf graphic there but that was my extra right so I think I still have another ball and yeah I'm, I'm waking up a bit of a bit of a sweat here for sure <laughs> is that it no this is now my ball three <laughs> wow oh, I got the skill shot too which I wasn't actually aware of the dropping behind the castle was it Yep, they've got to hit those little goats there. That's quite cool. A target practice. Oh, they're the wolves, not the goats, guys. <laughs> oh, the goats are behind. So it should be what? Just shooting the wolves, yeah? Oh, whoops. There goes a goat. 
Oh, okay, guys, I'm just, I'm just shooting goats. Gotta get the bad, big bad wolf on the back. I brought a letter. Let me in. <laughs> All right, come on. Yeah, we go. <clears throat> oh. Oh, it tilted it on the last ball, guys. That's one too many. <laughs> well, well, well. Wow, okay, well, guys, I think we are gonna have a talk about this table now. Normally we do two games, because they are a little bit shorter, but I think that actually was a really good, long, solid game. And I'm concerned that if I do another one, this video might end up being an hour long, so. We will call it there. Interesting that it's got a little DMD that does something different up on the table there I just saw, other than the one that's here. It's interesting. So guys, straight into, <laughs> it was a workout. It was a workout. That, yeah. I've said it before, these tables keep surprising me. Um, I remember, I do remember playing this in desktop and I do remember having a fair go and maybe not even enjoying it as much as I did just now. That was cranking, but maybe, you know, multiple multi balls and all the rest of it just added to the fun. So the theme, well, this Grim Tales theme is an ori you know, original from Zen. Obviously it's a fairy tale theme, which is not an original type of theme, but a very good one. It's one that translates very well to pinball machines. This is a very nice, you know, translation of all that. The music's beautiful. Um, yeah, some of the call-outs are a little bit, a little bit, yeah, but it suits the table. Um, so yeah, the theme is, is very, very good. I'm going to give it a nine. Nine on the theme, guys. Atmosphere, uh, a good level of atmosphere. Um, Those call-outs do sort of pull you into that and a little bit of the storytelling and stuff. Some people might not like that. Uh, it might get a little old, but you know, again, I feel like it's suita suitable for this theme, so it's not so bad. And uh, and for new players, you know, for them to hear the, the little stories and stuff is pretty cool. So <clears throat> the overall atmosphere is very good, and um, I sort of felt like I was in this little fairy tale world, so I'm gonna give it an eight, guys. I'm gonna give it an eight. All right, layout realism. Well, this is interesting. A nice open table here. Um, really, some really good shots to play, uh, which we'll certainly get into later with the shot interest. But, you know, that bloody flipper. <laughs> a hard go at that. So, I like it. I like the layout. I like it a lot. I think this, again, if this was a real table, it would be, be very nice to come back and, and play. Um, Getting, getting up into that, you know, that second flipper up over to here, and then, you know, and I didn't manage to even pull that off. That was a little bit difficult, so I'll just ping it back a little bit for that. So, I was going to give it a nine, but I think I'll, I think I'll give it an eight overall. Still a solid eight on the layout. Okay, the table artwork is, is very nice. You know, it's, it's beautiful around the edges. Got some flowers around the, the top of the flippers and the little cottage and the forest. Um, I did have to, as I said, lighten up the table and the gamma just to see it properly uh, in, in consideration with other tables. Uh, you know, it's nice with its little sort of map that it's got um, on the main table. So it's all, it's all very good. The art is very good. Um, look, this is done really beautifully as well. I don't think it's a nine though. I think overall it's a, a good solid eight. Uh, animations were, were good, the witch flying around was a little bit annoying, um, but with everything else going on and the open table and quite small uh, animation going around, uh, but all the other little animations and you know, popping the ball off with the, the stuff in the, uh, in the beaker or whatever it is, um, pushing the ball out. A lot of little nice little animations, things here. So I think I'll give the animations probably about a seven, guys. The animations sit about there. Graphical effects were, were nice. Again, nothing amazing on this particular table. I think uh, it's a good sort of six. Um, you know, there were some nice effects with the slime and stuff that came on part of that particular mode. That was actually pretty, pretty cool. Uh, but it's probably more of a little point on the X Factor a bit later on. All right, so... Um, 
the lighting overall so yeah as i said it's a bit strange because this is one where zen has darkened everything off it's just one of those things that you know if you're going to darken the table though you need you need light sources hitting things to help light it up appropriately as well so it was just a little hard to dial in and as i said i had to change the gamma a bit it is nice though once you sort of dial it in um, you know this is the sort of look you want it's just that and maybe you know you get more get all the ray tracing and stuff and the reflections better off on the desktop version using a pc that can handle all that stuff guys i don't have those settings on this machine so it's not bad um it's not super good but i will give it an eight on lighting dmd is very cool and this little right here this little signature thing is straight from seven cities of gold guys that i used to play on my 8-bit atari that's how it used to start I used to watch it hypnotically very good dmd um, lots going on there some good graphics uh, tells you what's going on it's nicely put together i think it's a nine easily on on there not quite a straight 10 but it's very very good music definitely fable storytelling music it's very nicely done doesn't get in the way in the background and in fact if anything this is probably one of those tables where I didn't feel like, oh, even if the music was going continuously, it didn't get in the way of the gameplay at all, guys. So it scores pretty highly from that point of view, and that it's very good. I'm giving it a 9. Sound effects, all appropriate for the table. Hitting things solid with the right sort of sound. Uh, again, nothing strange there. Nothing necessarily amazing either, but it all fitted in with the theme, so I'm giving it an 8. Call outs, a little bit of a mixed bag. As I said, some people might be a little bit off with the repeated call outs. I have turned the call outs though, guys, just to let you know, I've had to turn them down to about a four. And that just shouldn't be how you go from table to table. You shouldn't have to change it that much, but the call outs are way too loud. So if anyone doesn't like the call outs on this, I don't blame you if they're at the normal volume because they're way too loud. Uh, and even in this volume setting, they're up and down in terms of volume, in terms of some of the call outs. So anyway, guys, you know, it, 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 they're, they're good at this level, and um, but, you know, there is some problems there. So I'm going to put the call outs at a six. Flow of the game, very nice. Very nice. No brick shots. I mean, the only shots that were bricking were where I couldn't quite get in or get into the castle. That's okay. It's sort of a nice little challenge to do that. Uh, but I did feel that the table flows really well. So it's a nice flowing table, it's something to really enjoy. I'm gonna give it a nine, guys. Give it a nine on flow. Shot interest, um, good. There's not a huge amount of shots, but the shots that are there are good. And you can seem to sort of go and make them and uh, without too much trouble. And again, that might help uh, new people to pinball play this table and perhaps younger crowd. So. No, that's done done pretty well so i think the shot interest um is probably a good solid eight um it was, it was good challenge yeah it was a challenge it was challenging and um yeah, there was a lot of challenge with the multi balls but hey if it's going to give multi balls and put that dynamic in the game right up front then so be it so challenge very good um i think it's an eight for challenge guys Physics feel, yeah, just a little bit down, I think, from the, the standard eight that we started the series with, some of those uh, newer tables, and um, still good though, uh, but could be a little bit better, so I'm going to give it a seven. Fun factor, I did have a lot of fun, and a huge fun with multi balls, always do, and have plenty of those, and that crystal multi ball, and locking them in these towers here, and them dropping out, really did like that. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun, and uh, you know, for that reason, I'd give it an eight uh, for sure. Uh, replayability definitely coming back to this. I think it's the one that you sort of have to be in a bit of a mood for, though. And uh, and again, might be certain people that come over and want to play. You'll know the people that would really you know enjoy this sort of table. So it might not be one that you'd play all the time, but it's a really really good one to come back to. Um, and it ticks a lot of the boxes in terms of the challenge and the fun factor, which is part of the, you know, the equation to get the re replayability up. So I'm going to give it a strong eight, guys. 
it's one of those ones that yeah you want to come back to and play and enjoy for sure all right and spacey's x factor well yeah this whole thing pulled together really nice the the little tower multiple lock th things were really nice that very hard those two flippers up the top um i don't know if that's so much an x factor or, or not a bit of annoyance of the of the table but to be honest that actually does make that really difficult uh which is pretty cool you know the slime that came out as part of that particular mode got a lot of things and the whole package of it bringing together i think it, it deserves some x factor points guys and um you know, just really nicely executed by Zen to be honest like in terms of the whole package on this table really good job from the the team at Zen who worked on this table there's a lot of love I can see has gone in to this so from that point of view like all of those particular points I think it actually deserves a, a good five actually which might actually bump this table up even further but I think you know it deserves it guys and we'll see what the spacey score is the Grim Tales and see how it ranks there on the rest of the table. All the other tables there. Uh, fun to play, that's for sure. And so, yeah, let's uh, move on forward to the next Zen original license table, guys. Make sure you subscribe, give us your comments, what you think about this table. Give it a like and all that good stuff. And keep joining me as we keep going through all these tables. So many more to go and of course at some point we've got to do some William stuff right but that'll be a separate series guys anyway until next time ciao for now